We're here on the Highlander Sports Network following NJIT men's soccer's tough 2-1 to one loss to Stony Brook, joined by the head coach, Fernando Barbodo. Coach, your initial thoughts on, on today's match? It was a, a hard-fought one. Yeah, um, I, I don't think uh, we lost a little bit of uh, concentration on two plays, and, um, and we, they cost us two goals. Um, but I thought, I thought we dominated the game. I thought our possession was very good. Our, our intent uh, in the final third was, was very good. Um, but, uh, we, you know, we came up short. And there are some positives uh, from tonight. You got Rennie back in the lineup. You got Santiago Martinez back in the lineup. And you also got Rex and Watkins on the board once again with a, with a pretty spectacular moment of brilliance there. Uh, what do you see from your side on yeah, the board? Yeah, yeah. I, I think Rennie, Rennie's definitely not 100%. That's why we didn't start him. We, mm -hmm. we weren't going to use him unless we really needed him. But, you know, as, as the, as the, uh, the scoreline changed, we needed to use him. Uh, we lost uh, Tomas George. He's, hopefully he'll be back for the next conference game. Uh, we did get back Santiago, so you know we're we're slowly you know healing to you know to a full full squad or you know full four squad at least. Um, and we're getting Rex on the board it was important. He really needed that. He's been on a dry spell, um, but all in all, I think you know we, we need to be better defensively and um, uh, you know bottom line we just need to be better defensively. You have a lot of road games coming up, uh, coming up next. In fact, three straight away from home. Uh, you talked to your team uh, in the huddle for a while after the game there, uh, after the match. Uh, what, what did you tell your team to prepare uh, to get ready for those road games? Yeah, listen, I, I, I think when, when, when you go on a, on, a, on a downturn a little bit, like we've been, um, you know, and, and, and you have an influx of like a lot of young guys and a lot of older guys, and there's a big gap. Um, some of the little things get forgotten on the field and off the field. Um, and I, I address that as, you know, we all have to be collectively responsible for all the things that happen on the field and off the field as a team. And those are the things that we addressed with the group. And, um, you know, I think those, doing all those little things together and holding each other accountable on the field, on the training field, off the field, traveling to an away game etc i think you know it will help us you know be a little bit more uh you know together a little more cohesiveness to the group um, that you're going to need especially when you play on the road highlanders will look to do just that they'll be on the road for the next three weeks but they'll return home to face umbc the next time out here at the beckenfield in mal simon stadium october 28th thursday night seven o'clock kickoff right here in Newark. With the head coach, Fernando Barboto, I'm Jason Garrett for the Highlander Sports Network.